Who was Ella Montgomery? She was a woman and writer known throughout the world as the author of Anne of Green Gables and creator of Anne, a symbol of female youth, curiosity, and determination. Anne and the modern Canadian woman have much in common. Both hope to learn, contribute, and challenge the status quo. Ella Montgomery's life, writing, and reception reveal how Canadian society has defined women and that women's roles in shaping the future of Canada is significant. Although Montgomery gained fame and success as a writer, she struggled against a male literary establishment. Some critics dismissed her writing as trivial and only for young girls. Critic Desmond Pacey declared that Montgomery's novels had all the features of the kind of escape literature which a materialistic and vulgar generation craved. Pioneering female scholars Elizabeth Waterston, Mary Rubio, and Elizabeth Epperly challenged the notion that Montgomery could not be studied seriously. They persevered even when supervisors and colleagues warned that working on Montgomery could mean academic suicide. With the early and indispensable help of Shirk funding, for an academic journal, scholarship, and the Ella Montgomery Institute, they brought Montgomery's reputation and writing into the mainstream. The work of these three pioneers includes Montgomery's biography, edited journals and scrapbooks, as well as scholarship on her fiction and photography. They have inspired new generations of Montgomery academics, creative writers, and enthusiasts from Canada and beyond, many of whom work tirelessly to document and analyze Montgomery's work without institutional or financial support. Montgomery scholarship now has a home where it can flourish into the future. The L.M. Montgomery Institute at the University of Prince Edward Island is excited to announce the Journal of L.M. Montgomery Studies, the first journal dedicated to the author. The Journal of L.M. Montgomery Studies will be a peer-reviewed, open-access digital platform. It will tackle her life, influences, creative work, and legacy by showcasing pieces by longtime and new Montgomery scholars, creative writers, digital experts, photographers, and the list goes on. Following in Waterston, Rubio, and Epperly's footsteps, the journal will show that Montgomery was more than Anne. The author was a living, breathing woman. She had, as most Canadians do, an imperfect and sometimes challenging life, and her writing gives us insight into a Canadian past that really existed. Montgomery was a woman and writer who captured a changing nation through the unique lens of a rural Canadian woman. Through Montgomery, scholars have fought to better recognize the long-standing and continued contributions of professional women, including writers and scholars, to Canadian society. Future Montgomery readers will have the journal as a tool to shape the future of Canada, a country that will thrive as long as Canadians are receptive and open to understanding our many perspectives and all of our stories.